Tonight, we're getting new information about an officer involved shooting up in Robertson County. News Channel 5's Jesse Knutson reports the suspect apparently pulled a gun on a THP trooper before that trooper shot the suspect. This cell phone video shows the moments after a THP trooper shot a suspect who allegedly pulled a gun on that trooper. It happened shortly after 5 o'clock Tuesday when TBI investigators say a trooper was running radar on I-65 when he saw an SUV speeding down the road. He tried to initiate a traffic stop, but the SUV exited the interstate, ran a stop sign, hit a tractor trailer, then went down an embankment just off exit 112. According to investigators, when the trooper arrived at the scene, the driver, identified as 28-year-old Montreal Lamont Beatty, got out of his car and pulled a gun on the trooper. That's when the TBI says the trooper shot Beatty, and from this video, you can see numerous first responders were on scene to apply first aid to Beatty before he was flown to a Nashville hospital. We had Sky 5 fly over the scene shortly after it happened, and you can tell how large of a police presence there was during the investigation. According to the TBI, a gun was recovered near Beatty's vehicle, and today plenty of clues remain that there was a shooting here. Bandages, gloves, and plenty of marks on the ground. The TBI says the investigation is still ongoing and they aren't releasing the identity of the officer involved as per protocol. In Robertson County, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. Thanks, Jesse. We know Beatty was taken to the hospital, but we still don't have any information on his condition.